So thank you for joining me. And again, this topic is not something for children. I just wanted to state that. So I believe there's always a chance for restoration and for repentance and for forgiveness. And because somebody did something doesn't mean that they can never be a pastor again. I mean, look at what the Apostle Paul did in his life as Saul. I mean, that guy killed people. So there's always an opportunity for people to be restored, for repentance, for restoration. But you have to come clean and you have to share all of the details. So what I want to continue with here is and state that the that the gentleman who is on TV now who said that he kind of helped mentor him when this was when this was brought to light, Robert Morris, he said he had no idea that she was 12. So we have the church saying it, we have this man saying it. I can't imagine people thinking that that is okay. So I don't believe all of the details were ever shared. That is my personal opinion. When I first recorded the video about him, I never named his name. It was before he stepped down, but it actually aired after he stepped down. But your pastor needs prayer because if Satan can get to him, then it does nothing but destroy the kingdom. But see, it isn't just Robert Morris and these names that I'm going to give. These are all just people that have recently that have had something happen to them. So what about Ravi Zacharias? And you find out there were photographs of women. Brian Houston, even though he was found not guilty of a cover-up, let's just say that his father was too comfortable with young boys, he did resign. He was the leader of, of Hillsong. Carl Lentz, another Hillsong pastor, had an adulterous affair on his wife. Michael Mike Bickle recently from Kansas City IHOP. T.D. Jakes named in a lawsuit with um, Sean P. Diddy Combs for sex trafficking. And as I showed you, sexual sin is different. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18 says this, shun fornication. Every sin that a person commits is outside the body, but the fornicator sins against the body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God and that you are not your own? For you were bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. Sexual sin is different. And there is always that opportunity for forgiveness, for restoration, and for repentance. I want to go here now to um, 2 Peter, and this is 1 verse 4, and here's what it says. Thus he has given us through these things his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may escape from the corruption that is in the world because of lust and may become participants of the divine nature. So this sexual sin thing has been going on since the beginning. And so this is the thing that Satan likes to use to take down pastors, to take down ministries, to take down congregations, to destroy the body and the faith that they have. So your pastors really truly need your prayer. And if people are repentant, we, we looked at those examples of what happened in the Old Testament and the New Testament. We know that we're commanded to give. We talked about restoration. And if that is done, people can always get back to where they were prior. But the problem is you can't be restored if you lie about some of the details. And so whatever it is, you have to come clean with whatever it is. Because you can't truly get restored if you don't. So I hope that this has been a beneficial Several videos for all of you. Armor up. We ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.